Hello, this is Pastor Jim Ponko with the Midweek Meditation for August 11th, 2021. Uh, let me read to you uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. Be imitators of God, therefore, as dearly loved children, and live a life of love just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Do you have a place to go where you always feel safe and comfortable and loved. When I was a child, that place was my bed. I, when I was dealing with problems at school or a bully in the neighborhood or trouble with my brothers and sisters or a monster in the closet, it didn't matter. I could go to my bed and I always felt safe there. I would pull the blanket up to my, sh my chin and I, I'd feel those crisp cotton sheets against my skin and the, the gentle give of my mattress that was a little too soft. And I felt safe. I felt secure. I felt I was in some place special. The reason that I bring that up is because Paul in our reading also tells us that we as God's children have a safe place. He writes to us as dearly loved children live a life of love. But what's interesting there is that that live a life of love, literally what Paul says is live a life surrounded by love. Whose love? God's love. Sometimes we forget we forget how special we are, how, how God has made us and put us in a very special place. Remember the word church? In the Greek language, the word church refers to those who are called out. You see, God has called us out of his world and has enveloped us with a blanket of love as members of the family of God. Troubles are still around us, but we're in a safe place. And ultimately, those problems and troubles, they cannot harm us. You know what they're like? They're like a vicious dog charging at us at full speed. And, 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 but the dog and, and, his, and his mates, they can't quite reach us because they're all on leashes, right? And they're, they're right there, they're right in front of us and they're barking and they're snarling and we can feel their, dark, or their hot breath, but they can't get to us. They can't quite reach us. We remain safe and secure in God's love. And you know what that means? It means that we don't have to spend our time and our energy worrying about the bite of those snapping dogs. Uh, there's the hound of finances that, that keeps howling at us. There's not enough. There's not enough to pay for college. There's not enough to pay for retirement. There's not enough to cover all your bills. There's not enough if, if you have to have that surgery. And God says, I will give you more than you ask or imagine. Or there's the wolf of, of fear that snarls. There are so many dangers. There are the criminals, the terrorists, the disease, the storms. And Jesus calmly says, never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. There is that mad dog of doubt that snarls and growls at us and says, you're just not good enough. Are you sure there is a God? How can you know that you're forgiven? And God calmly reassures us, trust in the Lord with all your heart and don't lean on your own understanding. You see, we're securely wrapped in God's love. And because of that, those pack of fears that snarl at us, they can't reach us. And when they seem to get close, we can draw up our robe of righteousness to our chin and shout out God's promises. I am redeemed. I am forgiven. I am chosen. I am loved. I am a child of God. But what's interesting about that security that we have, that safe place that we are in, is that Paul says it enables us to be imitators of God. Just as children imitate their fathers, we can imitate our Heavenly Father. But maybe we're thinking that Paul is expecting too much from us. How can we imitate God? We're not perfect. We're not all powerful. We don't have the resources that God does. But but when we are not imitators of God, when we make excuses, 
we fail to do what God has called us to do. And God's love removes our excuses. We can say that we don't have the money to be as generous as God is, but Jesus says, ask and it will be given to you. We can say that we don't have the time to show the kind of interest to others that God shows to us, but God says, this is the day that I have made. Rejoice and be glad in it. Take the time I give you and use it wisely. We can say that we don't have the strength to do the things that God does, but scripture says, it is God who works in you. So it's not our strength. It is God's strength at work through us. You see, rather than focusing on our inabilities, God is calling us to focus on his capabilities. And then secure and confident in his love, we can do all things by his power. Amen. Let's pray. O oh Lord our God, you are wise and powerful, good and gracious. Your mercies are new to us every morning. Each day you open your hand and provide for the needs of your children on earth, and we praise you for every grace and blessing. Strengthen your church in all the world. Let your comforting message of salvation in Christ Jesus be proclaimed to troubled souls everywhere. Use our ministries and our offerings to extend your healing and your hope to the world. Invigorate the schools of our land. Give success to every effort that helps students read, think, and communicate in ways that will promote an informed and responsible citizenry. Arouse curious minds to discover the wonders of your created order. Give us teachers and students who pursue excellence. Strengthen families in our country. Give fathers and mothers a renewed commitment to be good parents. Give children and young people the wisdom to regard their parents as your representatives. Lead us to love one another as you have loved us. We pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with his favor and grant you his peace. Amen.